We're gonna go wake up paint now. I'm very tired when I wake up, but I'm trying to look around like this. I don't like to uh, get my clothes on and try to fall asleep. I'm so tired. Mom's like, come on, let's go, let's go. And I'm like, Ugh. I try to hide and stand still. Mom's taking my blanket off. Mom's like, come on. Let's go. And I'm like, ugh. And I try to hide. And I try, try to peek around the blanket and try to get it back. And I'm like, ugh. And she'll poke me on this side and I'll squirm like this. I'm like, Mom's like, really? Come on. And I'm like, ugh. I just want to find her. Good. I want to go back to sleep. Go away. My mom's like, Get on, get up. Mom looks at me like this, like, come on, I know you're awake. You're trying to peek, fake me to sleep. And I'm like. What's it like to be deaf? I like being deaf because Jesus made me special and I'm deaf and I have fairy ears too. Welcome to A Day in the Life, a SBSK original series that follows individuals living with a diagnosis for an entire day to show that every human on this earth has value, purpose, and is capable of progress when given the opportunity. So without further hesitation, get ready for A Day in the Life. What do you love most about Peyton? I love the sense of of just determination inside of her. Like it doesn't matter the failures that she's gone through. It doesn't matter, um, you know, the disability that the world thinks she has. She doesn't let that stop her. She's determined and she's going to do it. Um, and she's going to do it with love, passion, or whatever. She's going to she's going to accomplish the things she wants. I 
How would you describe Peyton's personality? Off the wall. Like literally, she is the silliest girl um, and she's gonna do anything to make someone laugh. She'll slap herself in the head sometimes or in the chest just because she knows it's loud and she wants to just make people laugh. So she literally is a comedian in her own body. She's funny. She is just down to the bone funny. And uh, she just really enjoys making people laugh. And so the people who really know her uh, know that. My name's Debbie Gilbert and I am the DHH teacher here at Chain of Lakes. What is a DHH teacher? A deaf and hard of hearing teacher. I have a lot of girls, which is unusual. Usually you have more boys than girls, but I got so there's a lot of drama. Uh, she's the oldest, so she thinks she needs to be the leader all the time. Uh, yeah, I uh, you can't just grab a whole uh, thing. Okay. Look, hey guys, look. You can't just grab a whole bunch, all right? She wants you. Pay attention. She is very sassy. <laughs> but um, maybe she had to be, you know. Maybe she has had to be that way. But, um, yeah, she she doesn't take anything from any anybody. All my friends. These ones are a little bit crazy. I have to tell them to calm down, calm down everybody, calm down. You guys need to calm down, y'all need to calm down. Okay, calm down. And then they're like, ugh. Before you were mad at me before, remember? Nah. Sometimes <laughs> Sophie is mad at me, <laughs> and sometimes I'm upset. And before, and then Courtney got mad at me once and I cried. Why? In my class, they've, they've accepted her. They don't look at her at any different than, than anybody else. We've all kind of accepted her. You know, we don't look at her as looking on the outside. We look at her as a person, as Peyton. I so and Peyton second to be staying and we can sign, Peyton can sign. She so because she got all with with her nose. I can touch my nose with my tongue. Prove it. Then she leaves in the morning and she goes into the uh, mainstream uh, general education and she does her math and science and she has an interpreter during that time. Okay, a vertebrate has a backbone. Okay, feel up your back. I have a backbone. Feel your back. My name is Sheila. Uh, my last name is Chaimon Kuhn, it's very long, so um, I'm an interpreter. I've been an interpreter for elementary for 13 years. My, um, I got into signing because my parents are deaf. So the next classification we're looking at is fish. fish. All right, fish have scales and fins. They lay, most of them lay eggs. A few of them have live birth. And I have to look at Miss Baker and I'll be looking at the corner of my eye to look at the interpreter. You know, that's what I do, just like this. That's what I do. So there's lots of different ways that they can be classified. So that's what we're going to look at today. Because Miss Baker talks, I can't understand her. So she'll assign interpret for me so I can understand in Miss Baker's class. When I started school, Sheila showed me what I needed to do, so I understood, and that's what I was going to do. Miss Sheila showed me. If the deaf student does call out in sign language, I would go ahead and voice that. All right, so is this going to be hard? Of course. <laughs> hard, hard? So hard your mind is going to explode. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> the deaf child says something, I voice it, and the teacher has to automatically, you know, or 
whatever the teacher decides to do. At home, I have my sister has the same bow as you, Aubrey. Oh, your sister does? Yep, as Aubrey. And if it is calling out, the teacher would have to correct correct the student. All right, so if I have one is silver cool. that I have. Let's go back to science. All right, so if I'm looking at the board. We have for in mainstream classes as well as for deaf classes. The mainstream class kind of gives us an idea of how she's going to deal with the outside world. Um, mainstream classes, the great, or the deaf ed classroom is great to see her be able to communicate and have friends uh, in her language. So there's aspects of both I really enjoy seeing. I don't know. I don't understand what they say. I feel kind of embarrassed. A reptile, what's a reptile? Let's get the, let's reptile get the mammals. Life. Let's get the mammals. Okay. okay, all the mammals. And then put them in the stack. Mammal, mammal, mammal. Oh, stack of mammals. Which one do you think is a mammal? They don't understand what I say. What's that like? It feels like... I get nervous or embarrassed. This is a fish. Um, this one is that is a fish though. Boom, we got that. We got ours. Yep, good. And then maybe they'll get a little bit, you know, mad because they don't understand me. And I'll have to go and get Miss Sheila and then Miss Sheila will say what? And then I'll have to tell ask her to interpret what my friend said. And yeah, I'll tell her that you need to interpret for me now. But I saw a movie, there was like a hundred thousand um, eggs. They kept dropping eggs, like thousands of them. I saw in a movie. Charlotte's um, Web. Oh, Charlotte's Web. Oh. Yeah, 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 with the spider. And the pig. What does she express to you about the deaf ed class and the general ed class? Um, she loves her deaf ed class. That is her top favorite. I mean, that's it's basically like us going over to another country and having an English class. You're kind of got to grab onto that. That's awesome because the other class is always going to be work. You have an interpreter with you, so you're going to have to constantly focus in on the interpreter. So it gets hard for them, and they need more breaks and they need more rest because they're constantly focusing in on an interpreter, so that takes a lot of concentration. What's the most difficult thing about school? Hmm. Math and reading. There's a lot of work. I have to look at the book. I have to work. Some things I don't know, and I'm like, I don't know that one, and I try to do all this work and try to pay attention, and work and write and pay attention at the same time, because I have to look at the interpreter, look at my work, look at the interpreter, look at my work, like this. So she's in here for the rest of the, actually the rest of the day, and then she works on her reading and writing. One word is spelled wrong, okay? No, one word. Two that rhyme. But first you have to find, there's three mistakes, okay? You got the first one, you finished, you got it. I do use my voice and I sign too uh, sometimes. Sometimes it depends, like if I'm working with Peyton, I don't need to use my voice as much, I can just sign. And uh, <clears throat> But with other kids, I need to do both. Uh, it just depends on the student. What is your biggest hope for Peyton when it comes to education? Um, honestly, it's it's kind of trivial, but it would be it would be grammar. I really hope that 
um, she learns to to um, do her best in grammar and to to read and write full sentences and just spelling it's just a normal everyday thing that you wish for your kid but um, ultimately that she would find interest in, in passion in school um, now she just kind of goes to school with her friends but that she actually uh, wants to learn and study and be challenged uh, you know educationally. If you could do anything in school what would you do? How do you feel at the end of the school day? to go to a local park to go see the alligators with her friend Peyton from her deaf class. This is a lot of alligators. I like Peyton, she's my friend because we two are happy. We like to see the alligators. And we like to see the alligator park. And look around and see different alligators. Where is it? Were you too scared of the alligator? What was your favorite part of the walk? Holding hands together and walking together. Yeah, that's my favorite. Sometimes after school, we go over to her friend uh, Alyssa's house and over their families and they enjoy swimming or making up cheer routines together. Um, they just do whatever little girls like to do together. How do you two know each other? Strawberries. What happened in the field of strawberries? We went picking together and then we went on the same row of strawberries. Yeah, we were picking strawberries and together. And then we talked to each other and I asked her mom a little bit of sign language and then we became really good friends. I noticed that you two hold hands when you're together. Why do you do that? Because we're best friends. I've noticed too a few times that we've been out to eat or a fast food restaurant we would normally tell Peyton to go up and order your own food or go up and ask for a side of ranch or barbecue and Peyton will say no I'm scared I'm deaf I can't talk they don't understand me so we'll tell her to get a phone or get paper and write it 
And a few times that Alyssa's been with us, Alyssa's like, come on, babe, let's go. And so you can see the confidence that Alyssa brings in her. So it's, it is cool. I mean, it happens with a lot of her friends, but with Alyssa, there's a bond there stronger than, than you know, any other child that she's met. When I met Peyton, I thought we could become really good friends. Why did you think that? Because she was really nice. She was my best friend. Do you remember the moment where you knew she was your best friend? Yes. And I was like, when we met her, I said, okay, we're gonna do those strawberries at practice. And she decided to throw them on them. I said, yep, she's gonna be good. Who won the famous strawberry war? We did. They no. Er Technically, they won because they went to tattletale on us because we we um we barraged them with rotten strawberries, um, and then they went crying to mom, and then so that's how that happened. So technically, we won the war, but but we won the mom war. How do you feel when you hold hands? I feel happy because. I know that Peyton's there with me, and I know that my brother can't just scare me because Peyton will be beside me too. Because he does it a lot, and it's annoying. Because Raxton, her brother, I'm like, no, 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 you can't come over here to her. And he wants to win, and I said, nope. You're not gonna win, Braxton, you're gonna lose. I mean, I ran, went and told mom and did this right here, and Braxton gave this face, and we won. That's not winning. It's just being silly. Oof! No! <laughs> yes. You're lying. <laughs> we won. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. You did not win. <laughs> yes, you we did. One to win, but us two won because we would catch them all first. That was a day that me and Peyton became true friends. And it's not every day that you meet somebody new and then they're just your best friend. Peyton, what do you want to say about this incident? She's going to say that gonna we say won. We won because we hid. <laughs> yep. We were able to throw the strawberries hiding and Braxton didn't see us. And he's weak. And he doesn't know how to stand up right. And he kept falling and me and her were laughing because we were throwing strawberries on him. What? And he's so weak. Does not have And I heard him because he couldn't get him fast enough. And every day he says, We have enough because he's so weak and he falls over. And we jumped up and started throwing strawberries on him. Brax said, Ah! That's not, uh uh. That's uh -uh. what happened. Yes, yes. We were hoping to go to the same high school and then we could do cheerleading there. Would you like to be a cheerleader with Alyssa? Do they force you to watch their cheerleading routine? And film it. <laughs> Multiple times. Multiple times. <laughs> because every time they messed up on one spot. So it's like, no, 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 daddy, start again. Again. So yes, multiple times. This is our cheerleading routine. If you two could say something to the world, what would you want to say? And I would want to say that God made everybody different and nobody's the same so nobody can judge other people just because they look different. When somebody watches Peyton's daily routine, what do you hope they take away from it? Um, just to see that she has just normal everyday activities just like everybody else. As you can see throughout the course of her day, she makes friends, she can make her own breakfast. Deaf people are not disabled to where they have to sit at home and are not able to do the same thing hearing people can do. She can get out, she can um, do everything a normal person can do. When she grows up, we plan on teaching her to how to drive, how to have a job, how to do everything that we do. So there's no hindrance, there's no nothing that's gonna stop her. Do you say prayers before bed? I haven't done it yet, not today. I want to accept Jesus. I haven't accepted him yet because I don't really know a whole lot about it. I said, are you ready? Do you ready to accept Jesus? I'm like, well, what is that? What does accepting Jesus mean? My mom tries to tell me about his blood, the blood of Jesus and how you take him into your heart. And I'm like, well, 
I don't really understand it. I don't know how to do that yet. And I was like, you need to. Right now. And I'm like, okay, okay. Most days, um, she doesn't really want to go to bed. Um, she's just too excited. When you fall asleep, do you have dreams? I dream about Alyssa sometimes, and me and Alyssa. Like, uh, we have a dream about Alyssa and me being mermaids. And she goes to bed just like you. Um, you know, she has, you know, she wants to be a princess just like most girls. She really just wants to be treated like a normal person. Do you dress like a princess every night? Mm -hmm. Because I like having these type of clothes on. To, just to wrap a blanket around her as tight as you can get. Um, so it that when she goes, <laughs> it makes her giggle, but also it's just to know that you know she always has the you know loving arms of a father around her. <laughs>